From time to time, the United Nations will send experts to the United States to report on our human rights record. One such UN expert is in the U.S. right now. Is he here to give a balanced account, or does he have an agenda? I'm Matt Strait, and this is Heritage in Focus. A human rights expert from the United Nations named Martin Shinnan is visiting the United States from May 16th through the 25th. He's coming here to evaluate our human rights record in light of our counterterrorism policies and practices. Now, it's likely that he's going to conclude that the United States is in violation of its international treaty obligations because of laws we have passed like the Patriot Act and the Military Commissions Act, but also because of our detention of enemy combatants at Guantanamo Bay. It's also likely that he will recommend that we close Guantanamo Bay. Now, what's unfortunate is that Mr. Shannon and other UN human rights experts don't seem to comprehend that the United States is in the middle of a global war on terrorism and that a robust counterterrorism regime is necessary to fight this battle. Human rights experts don't see it that way. They don't agree with us. They see counterterrorism uh, as a law enforcement issue. They don't see it as an armed conflict, as we do. They believe that accused terrorists should immediately be given access to lawyers, uh, should be given habeas corpus rights, uh, should have access to courts immediately, and shouldn't even be interrogated for any intelligence value. But they have to understand that the United States will continue to defend itself uh, through its counterterrorism practices because the United States has the right and it has the obligation to protect itself and to protect the most vital human right that we have, which is the right to life. It seems as though the UN doesn't understand the threats we face. As a sovereign nation, the United States has a right to protect its citizens from terrorism. I'm Matt Strait, and this is Heritage in Focus. For more information, log on to heritage.org.